I'm going to show you how to analyze repeated measure, nested design, partly nested design, split plot design, how to analyze those kind of experiment in minute tab. So here is an example of repeated measure design. However, this could call be split plot. This could also be called as partly nested. Doesn't matter what we call. It doesn't change the analysis. So let me show you how to do that. Click on stat, ANOVA, generalized linear model, fit linear model. And then in this example, these guys are testing new medicine against a placebo. They hire a bunch of subjects and then measuring five different days and how their blood pressure is changing over time. So response is the blood pressure factor is subject medicine time. Define this random nested. So subjects are randomly picked. Check that other video. How, what's the difference, particularly the difference between these experiments. Now, subjects are nested in the medicine. So select that there. That's very important. Hit OK. You have to change the model statement as well, so you need to have all the interactions possible. Hit OK if you are if you want to run the full model. Hit OK and then leave everything at it as it is. Just hit OK. This should produce the analysis of various table. Now I get lots of data here. It will produce a huge bunch of stuff. All I need is this um, the p the analysis of variance table. So as you can see here that the medicine is significant meaning that probably this blood pressure medicine is working against the placebo if subjects don't take anything at all compared to if they take this medicine also you need to um, i want to show you something uh, minitab also produce the expected mini squared table so you can actually um, tell uh, what would be the appropriate F statistics from this. So this is the table for the expected mean square. Now check that video on how to develop this expected mean square. So as you can see for the medicine, the error was used. You can see this is the error term was used. So that is associated with this. So this subject nested in medicine is the error associated for the medicine. So F statistics should be basically you divide the mean square of the medicine divided by the subject and so on. So check that video on how to develop those expected mean square and so on. However, in this case, Minitab produces the correct F statistics. If it's all random factors, then Minitab probably will not produce the all uh, F statistics correctly or automatically. In that case, check the expected mean square table and see I also explain how to uh, correctly do the F statistics and find the p-value for that kind of experiments. Minitab usually put a star sign there if it cannot do any uh, analysis or find the exact F statistics. In that case, you have to manually, either you can set it Minitab or manually do the calculation in MS Excel. There is a video on how to do that. So just to summarize, if it doesn't matter whether it's a split plot, partly nested, or nested, or split plot or mixed factor, whatever that is, everything is guided by this, whether something is fixed or not, whether something is nested or not. So it doesn't really matter how we call our baby, the analysis method is guided by the factor type, not necessarily what the experiment is called.